This episode of My Two Satoshis is brought to you by Algorand. Algorand solves the existing trilemma of today's blockchains, which is that they all can only offer at most two of the three properties, scalability, security, or decentralization. With Algorand's proprietary architecture, participants on the network can ensure that it will never fork. Algorand is based on a new POS consensus algorithm called Pure Proof of Stake, which is even better than my beloved delegated proof of stake system. Visit Algorand.com for more information on this new technology. Woo! Your boy Crypto Blood. Welcome to another episode of My Two Satoshis. It is July 11, 2019. Shout out again to Jim Flaunt. Man, UK stand up. Y'all got some real crazy, nice hip hop artists out there in the UK. Second day, second song request from Ocean Wisdom. Today is Revan. Check this guy out if you haven't heard of him. Very good hip hop music. Again, Jim Flaunt, thanks for the song request for today. What's good, people? Hope you guys are doing well, and welcome to another episode. Today, we're going to look at uh, an article out of CCN. Uh, comments from Peter McCormick, which is a popular podcaster, crypto podcaster. He's saying that the junk altcoins of 2017 was a one-off. We were clueless, he says. I think I have to agree with him. We're going to see what he has to say about this in detail here in a second. And the second article, I hate to beat a dead horse here, but Fed Chair Jerome Powell calls for halt to Facebook's Libra currency project. Of course, that makes perfectly good sense because it is a threat to their regime. And the funny thing is, so they'll go after things that they think are threats to them. They'll, They'll come right out like they are with this Libra coin. So what that tells us is that they don't think Bitcoin is a threat, which is good. We don't want them to think it's a threat because we want this thing to grow and grow and grow to the point where it's so popular and it it, it gets so big under their noses that when they go to try to ban it, they won't be able to. So that's fine with me. Go ahead and go after Libra coin because it is a, though I don't necessarily uh, like it uh, from a, a crypto purist, it definitely is a threat to the federal reserve and central banks and all that good stuff so i'm cool with that from that perspective so we'll take a look at this article and see what jerome powell is talking about here out of crypto vest and the last article for today we will review is out of the bitcoinist and it is about bitcoin's usage soaring in zimbabwe after foreign currencies banned so great way to see uh bitcoin utilized as a kind of a backup to all of these fiat currencies that are crumbling we know how horrible zimbabwe has been towards its own currencies in the past so it's good to see that peer-to-peer transactions in zimbabwe are up after the president uh reinstated the zimbabwe dollar and if you guys aren't aware of the history of the zimbabwe dollar and the hyperinflation that it experienced years ago check it out just go to google type in zimbabwe dollar hyperinflation and you'll see what happens to fiat currencies when they're controlled by humans and then in governments corrupt governments they have their own agendas right they want to mismanage funds and just be very irresponsible and transfer that irresponsibility over to its citizens this is what cryptocurrencies are attempting to alleviate and at least uh or at least i should say make these governments have some form of accountability because they know there's at least some sound assets out there that people can flee to so let's go ahead and take a look at this heat map before we get started with things bitcoin's down another four and a half percent to eleven thousand seven hundred dollars ethereum down another five percent was even lower than that earlier today i think as low was around 260 bucks eos not looking good at all down nine percent an additional nine percent to four dollars and 74 cents jeez i'm gonna have to go pick up some more of that get it cheap while i can and then litecoin at 103 down another 4.9 percent it was under the hundred dollar handle um early i think yesterday at some point but yeah red all over the place but if we look at the top 100 gainers for today crypto.com chain their cro token is up another 16 percent today guys as you guys know i told you a couple of days ago they are one of my uh, patrons 
on the channel they love my content and they're supporting my channel so shout out to them for doing their thing and i think they're actually getting ready to be added to hawabi i need to accumulate some more of these coins here mco is their other token as well that's monarch the cryptocurrency debit card many of you probably remember one of the first to do an ico years ago they purchased crypto.com and took over that brand and they're doing a lot of things over there so uh definitely look out for them their credit cards are now going to be available for u.s citizens as well so check them out crypto.com you can't forget that one so let's take a look at this technical analysis for today as you can see we did end up breaking that trend line which i thought we would because it was just simply too steep with its slope to just let you know this was really a a trend line that the market was looking at you will notice here that we had a break below and then an attempt to hit, get back above there and then we got broken down and denied again by the bear so that, that lets you know this attempt here lets you know that my trend line there was accurate and is what the uh, markets were looking at so at this point i personally think we're going to do something like this then head higher so again we're still looking at a target of about 10,800 between 10,800 and 10,900 range somewhere around there i think we'll still have to test out so you may want to put some uh, bids in there and also a secondary level could be if i move the trend line down to match this bounce off of this support area and if i do that i'm just going to draw a quick line to give me a reference so then i'm going to go ahead and move this back up to just give you an idea of where uh, we may dip below. Okay, so we may dip below the trend line that I think the market will interpret. But, you know, again, it may be some additional selling. The bear is really trying to get everyone out of the market and turn the direction of this market. So we could see a bounce off of this area, which is exactly around the 10,800 area. So that still is in line with what I was uh, thinking we will see for support oh and if you guys are ever interested in uh, personal training on how to trade uh, successfully manually su trade successfully just hit me up at holla at cryptoblood.io i've had a few inquiries and uh, i'll actually be starting another uh, course a personalized course this friday with the group so if you guys are ever interested just hit me up i'll send you details i always forget to tell you guys that but yeah you can uh contact me at my website and i will get back with you with details on learning how to trade without all that clutter all the glitz and glamours all the indicators are unnecessary believe me i've been trading for over 13 years now i've tried it all and you don't need none of it <laughs> so again hit me up on my website cryptoblood.io so let's take a look at what this uh popular podcaster crypto podcaster peter mccormick is saying about altcoins this go around uh this caught my eye because i was just talking to you guys about altcoins and how i don't see this go around being anywhere a reflection of what we saw in 2017 so it says here as crypto analysts pontificate that the so-called alt season will soon arrive bitcoin podcaster peter mccormick has a simple message don't hold your breath the what bitcoin did host went on a twitter rampage this week to advance the notion that bitcoin will obliterate the rest of the crypto market leaving a trail of altcoin bag holders in its wake the series of altcoin hating tweets began with a shot at bitcoin's top rival ethereum he says if you own more ethereum than bitcoin you're wrong it appears that this tweet merely served to get mccormick all warmed up he quickly rattled off five more tweets on the same issue in the span of 48 hours mccormick predicts new bitcoin all-time high while posting an image of a lamborghini it says the cryptocurrency podcaster continued his promotion of the number one cryptocurrency by posting bitcoin new all-time high by the end of summer or i'll delete a pompolino's account obviously mccormick added humor to his tweet so that his followers won't take it too seriously however it appears that the podcast host is riding the wave of bitcoin's prevailing bullish sentiment 
push his message about Bitcoin maximalism. So he goes on to say here, and this, this section is really where I wanted to highlight for you guys, him talking about the alt season. He says, praying for an alt season, better keep praying because according to McCormick, it will never happen again. In one of his most recent tweets, McCormick thrashed altcoins by writing that alts are junk. He then continued by saying that 2017 was a one-off. We were clueless, he continued. The reason you haven't had any alt season is simple. You all know that alts are junk and aren't worth shit. You're hoping for more clueless morons to pump this shit, but they aren't here. 2017 was a one-off. We were clueless, all clueless. And then the article finishes up by saying, what if he's wrong? Bitcoin recent tear has emboldened maximalists like Peter McCormick at nearly 66% dominance, stands at its highest level since 2017, and the leading cryptocurrency continues to brutalize its would-be rivals. However, overly bold statements like this can also be a sign of out of control euphoria with bitcoin plunging below 12,000, mccormick tweet storm could be a signal that the local top is in so here's my thoughts about this whole situation he's right and he's wrong because you have to understand blockchain you think of it from a blockchain perspective that's the most like bird's eye view of of this game blockchain isn't going anywhere Bitcoin can't serve as a settlement layer for smart contracts, uh, for gaming, for logistics, for medical records. So you have to um, differentiate the two. So you've got Bitcoin and, you know, the cryptocurrencies, if you want to put in quotes, um, maybe a lot of those will go away. And I believe a lot of them will. Most will. You know, you may still have some a handful around but the value of them will be not uh going up the same rate as it is with bitcoin so you'll get some bleed over the money from bitcoin and those who hodl bitcoin has to spill over it's not going to fully spill over into fiat it will spill over into other altcoins cryptocurrencies now when you're talking about um smart contracts and uh and those type of blockchain 3.0 platforms those will be around because there's a need for those you know like i said you can't have games on the bitcoin blockchain you know you can't have autonomous driving and medical record stores securely you can't have none of that stuff on the bitcoin blockchain so for anyone to think that it's bitcoin and nothing else it's totally ignorant or just has a very low iq i don't know which one it is you guys let me know but he's right in the sense of a lot of the altcoins that are cryptocurrencies will be left in the dust. Not saying they're going to all go to zero, but they will definitely be left in the dust. And many of those who hold alternative coins will be very disappointed. I'm just going to tell you like that. All right. Second article out of CryptoVest. Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell calls for halt to Facebook's Libra coin project again uh only supporting my thesis um so let's see what he has to say powell joins the side of regulators wary and critical about facebook's libra project calling for a halt until regulatory concerns are answered the facebook project faced a backlash from u.s federal reserves chairman jerome powell who believes the project cannot go forward unless serious concerns are addressed reported reuters with this statement powell joins the side of most international regulators both central banks and financial oversight authorities. The prevailing opinion is that Libra may be a threat both to monetary policy and to commercial banks and personal finance. Powell was quoted by saying Libra raises many serious concerns regarding privacy, money laundering, consumer protection, and financial stability. He also goes on to say that I don't think the project can go forward without addressing those concerns. He added Powell added that Libra does not fit within the Federal Reserve regulatory scheme and has potentially large scale impact. This is exactly what I've been saying, people. The Libra Association has stated multiple times that it is open to discussions and Facebook has held preliminary talks with the U.S. Commodities Futures Commission. Libra will supposedly have a fixed price based on baskets of international currencies and will be backed by fiat held by specially assigned sellers. During Powell's speech, the price of Bitcoin accelerated its drop 
adding to factors that wiped out 1600 in just one day. Currently, it is still possible for any startup to create a digital asset, but Facebook's high profile combined with concerns about privacy and influence are weighing down the Libra project. So far, no other digital asset, including Bitcoin, has received similar attention or attempts to freeze a project. And I told you guys the reason why is because this is a direct threat to the financial system. Like seriously, they don't think that Bitcoin is a threat. Therefore, you haven't seen them outright ban it. But with Libra, on the other hand, they are jumping out ahead of, ahead of this with uh, two feet running, you know. So, in my opinion, this is a direct. This should show you it's it's a cause and effect thing. So you don't have to look. The evidence is in their reaction and how they um, deal with these types of technologies. If they come right out and just straight tell you to halt, that means it is a direct threat. Okay, so just remember that, people, and. You know, again, I told you yesterday, I'm just curious to see how they plan on dealing with this Libra coin, because I don't know if they're going to outright ban it. I, I just think they're going to delay it so much that uh, Facebook is going to get discouraged, at least here in the States. And honestly, what will have to happen for this thing to take off is that you have a smaller country embrace this technology and this currency like a Zimbabwe. But again, even a Zimbabwe, why would they relinquish control? See, when you have control over printing the money, you have control over the people. Plain and simple. So I, I just, I don't see a scenario. I'm thinking hard, people. You guys let me know. Where do you see a scenario where they allow this new currency to uh, to go forward? At least here in the States. I, I, can't, I can't think of one. The article finishes up by saying the potential of Libra to immediately reach more than 2 billion users is also causing worldwide concerns. Recently, it became clear Calibra, the chief Libra wallet, will not be available in India to avoid breaking local monetary control laws against the gray economy. So, as I stated, no Libra coin in 2020. I don't know how to... It, you've got some smart people over there, at least I thought you did, at Facebook. Who, what in the hell made them think that they were going to be able to roll this out in 2020? My God. Last article is about Zimbabwe and its usage of Bitcoin soaring after the foreign currency policy was enacted. It says here, Peer to Peer Bitcoin exchange of local Bitcoins has continued to soar after Zimbabwe government implemented a ban on foreign currency transactions. It says that as reported by Quartz Africa, Quartz Africa peer-to-peer -peer Bitcoin transactions in Zimbabwe recently reached a new high after President Emerson Menengagwa reinstated the Zimbabwe dollar. The ban also prohibits the settlement of local transactions in the British pound, South African rand, the U.S. dollar, and other foreign currencies. In 2006, Zimbabwe went under a brutal period of unprecedented hyperinflation, and by 2009, Zimbabwe had phased out the Zimbabwe dollar and introduced a multi-currency system while utilizing a system reliant on foreign currencies, erased hyperinflation. It also led to the government losing control of monetary policy. And in late 2018, the government also banned all local banks from processing Bitcoin transactions. As the policy takes effect, local prices for Bitcoin have risen tremendously. And most cryptocurrency users prefer to use EcoCash, a mobile payments platform, for conducting trades within Zimbabwe. So it says that currently Zimbabwe is one of the most active markets for cryptocurrency-based commerce. And Zimbabweans prefer the digital currency as a stable store of value instead of Zimbabwe dollar, which is notorious for its hyperinflation and difficulty to use. The introduction of the foreign currency ban on June 24th caused local Bitcoin prices to rise to $76,000 per coin, which is a 580% increase over its spot price at that date. So there you have it. This is what we uh, love to see. Uh, a, a coin that no one controls no one knows who created it we have our speculations but this is how it should be done the government can't stop bitcoin they can ban it all they want and i'm glad that uh western governments are are still not hip to what power bitcoin can hold in a scenario where you have fiat currencies falling all over the place so go ahead
Go ahead, Federal Reserve. Go after Libra. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Go after that coin and and allow Bitcoin to fester and brew and build and bubble to the point where when you're ready to actually ban it, you won't be able to. So you guys let me know your thoughts on all three of these articles. Peter McCormick talking about altcoins are a thing of the past and we won't see that same run in 2019 or beyond like we did in 17. Got to agree with him, but there are some caveats there that I talked about. Let me know your thoughts about that. And then also Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell saying they must put a stop to this Libra coin. And then lastly, the Zimbabwe dollar and its nonsense and monetary policy they're going through and seeing Bitcoin reach seventy six thousand dollars. That is crazy. That is crazy, people. Again, make sure you guys comment, like, share and subscribe. And click that bell. And shout out again to my man Jim Flaunt for that second song request. Ocean Wisdom. Revin. I'm loving this joint right here. Should we Crypto Blood? And that's my two Satoshis for July 11, 2019. Am I here, people? Ah!